Hey everybody, welcome to Gopher Green Living Homestead. And yes, this is still Gopher Green Living Homestead. And uh, I'll fill y'all more in on that later. But today, we're out in the uh, forest, the deep forest. And we're, we're looking for treasures. <laughs> treasure, treasure. So, uh, garden treasure. So, uh, this is what we're, we're actually looking for uh, mycelium. Now, mycelium is a fungus like. It's like a fungus, but it actually is bacteria. And it's all strung together, bacteria. And uh, it's really convenient for us that make compost tea. It's convenient for us that, that want to make a, uh, you know, a raised bed. And that's another thing. This mycelium is why Back to Eden works. It's this bacteria, string bacteria, strung together that actually makes Back to Eden gardens work because it's living under the soil. And it's just giving the plants, it's, they, they benefit each other. It's micronutrients for each of them. So, and it's a, a composting bacteria, so it's breaking down the material. And then it's waste, the plants are just sucking it up. Plus it helps uh, gather water for the plant too, and, and store water. So, uh, see, it's just a benefit all around. Now, I need, uh, I y'all know I just made a four by eight uh, banana bed in the greenhouse, and I need some ground cover. Now, you saw me put down the manure and the hay, and I've been saturating that, make sure it's real wet and moist and deep down in there. Uh, but I'm gonna gather now, I'm gonna gather first the, uh, the overcast, which I'm looking for mainly leaves and you know, some pine straw, it's, it's not gonna matter, but it's gonna, I'm gonna put it on there about four to five inches thick. And then underneath that, I, that's where I want to find the mycelium in here. So uh, it's not hard to find. I mean, it's it's everywhere. But you, you know, uh, oak trees and pine trees and you know and 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 places like that, deep forest, you can easily find it. And this is going to give your garden, raised beds, everything a super jump start. Uh, especially if you're doing back to Eden, take the mycelium, put it down there first, then put your wood chips over it. You're a half a year ahead of me. Of course, uh, there is a trick. Uh, you can use white rice. Put white rice on your soil. I don't know why. The starch is in the rice. Uh, you never know why it does it, but it, it creates a, uh, a mycelium fungus and it's not a fungus, a bacteria, <laughs> and uh, it, it quick, you know, like in like in a couple of days. So if you're introducing it to a, a house plant or anything like that, put a little white rice in it, uh, then cover it up with whatever ground cover you're using. And but for our purposes, we just need it to uh, benefit our bananas that we're putting there. And since the bananas won't be giving babies till this. Uh, this fall so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, plant a few other things in just in there just a little bit just to uh, because uh, it's available and I don't want to be just this you know empty beds which would, would look good but I want to put a few things in there. all right guys I hope you enjoyed this about mycelium and learning one of my tricks to uh, grow in the soil that I grow in. And I'm sure if you use the same trick in the soil you grow in, you will get the same results. All right, I love you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Oni, Ove, Ota, means I love you in Hebrew. Later, guys.